Welcome to Rob's Garage. This is Rob, but this is definitely not my garage. I am coming to you today from jolly old England at the Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit. Came here for the what's called Goodwood Revival. It's uh, a weekend of vintage motor racing. Everybody is dressed up in period clothing, anywhere from the 20s to the 60s. And uh, it's just an amazing experience. You're gonna see some awesome racing, lots of former Formula One and sports car races. Even had a uh, seven time NASCAR champion, Jimmy Johnson here today. I highly would recommend vintage racing to anybody who's a fan of motorsports. My first experience with uh, vintage racing was maybe 10 or so years ago at Laguna Seca, the Monterey uh, Motorsports Reunion. It was awesome and I just fell in love with it. And out here, you got to see everything from Grand Prix cars, sports cars, motorcycles. Uh, but there's a lot of things I didn't know before coming here. This is my first time. So I'm going to share with you five tips that had I known before would have made my experience a lot more enjoyable. So stay tuned. Tip number one, make your lodging reservations far in advance so you can stay near Goodwood. I stayed in London, which is about an hour and a half commute via car. Uh, you can also take a train and then catch a taxi as you get closer, but that's also about an hour and a half, so it doesn't really save any time. And you can see here, driving through the countryside, it's beautiful, uh, especially driving the left-hand side, you get to experience the thrill of that. But I have to say, in hindsight, I really wish I would have stayed near Goodwood because at the end of the day, you're just really tired. You just want to come back to the hotel and crash. As you can see from that footage, I was able to observe the racing action from all around the circuit. That's because I purchased a roving grandstand seat that allows you access to the majority of grandstands around the circuit. Not all, there's a few that are dedicated for reserved seats, but I was able to see pretty much everything I wanted with that roving grandstand uh, pass. Uh, however, uh, I made the mistake of walking the track clockwise, which me meant there's a lot of distance in between each grandstand. So tip number two for you, which I didn't discover till the end of the day, really, was to walk the track counterclockwise. Why? Because if you do, you're able to hop on these fancy tractors here, which take you from grandstand to grandstand, make your day a lot more enjoyable. Number three, in addition to purchasing the roving grandstand pass, spend a little extra money, buy yourself a pit pass. 
I made the mistake of not doing this, and as a result, this is the closest view I could get to the pits, and I was kind of disappointed at the end, because I really want to spend more time seeing those cars up close. I doubt the weatherman predicted these flurries of fuel in here. I'm standing about six feet away from this Porsche 911 engine as it revs. You can literally see the power of the exhaust as it blows into this plastic bag that I'm holding my hand. Now before I go on with more tips about Goodwood, if you've enjoyed watching this video so far, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you like watching videos of motorsports, whether it's automobiles or motorcycles, and learning about maintenance and customization of vehicles such as BMWs, Minis, Land Rovers, Corvettes, even Ferraris, or motorcycles such as Yamahas or old Suzukis. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button so you can follow my channel. One of the unique things about the Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit is that every food vendor is individual, unique. You can, you can walk around this entire track and everywhere you stop, you'll find different food trucks. None of them the same. Tip number four, in addition to watching out for pickpockets and loose women, there's really no need to convert your local currency to British pounds. Why? Because nearly every vendor takes payment cards, credit or debit cards. In fact, there were several vendors I came across that didn't accept cash at all. So you really had to bring your credit card. Just make sure before you leave your local country that you notify your payment card issuer that you'll be traveling abroad. Save the most important tip for last. Tip number five, if you're going to invest in making the trek all the way to Goodwood, I highly recommend spending two, if not all three weekend days there. Unfortunately, I was bound with other agenda items on an overseas trip, so I could only afford to go for one day. And if you're gonna go one day, I'd recommend doing Sunday like I did. It's the height of the racing action, but it's physically impossible to see everything at Goodwood in one day. There's so much happening on the track. There's classes, as you can see in this video here. There's vendor booths, uh, various attractions, lots of different foods to try, and just tons of people watching. It's just amazing. So trying to do it in one day, it's, it's impossible. And at the end of the day, when things settle down on the track, you go over the road here, and it's a big circus environment, a carnival. It's a lot of fun. Well, that's a wrap for Rob's Garage from Goodwood. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.